After a two-year battle with an illness, Christian radio veteran Jim Chanel went to be with the Lord. I'm Ron Maxwell. I'll talk about Jim for just a moment. I met Jim back in the 80s at a Gospel Music Association seminar in those days held in Nashville. His personality was huge. He loved radio. But most of all, he loved Jesus. And he boldly shared the gospel wherever he went. Anyone who knew Jim knew that. Jim's life is a testimony to the power of God to change lives by accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior. I say that because before Christ, Jim was living a very successful life as a rock and roll DJ in big markets. In fact, he was voted as one of America's top four DJs by Billboard magazine. He told me once that he had been what could be described as one of the original shock jocks of that era. In Chicago, he was known as Captain Whammo. Captain Whammo! WBT Chicago, 602 and that rock, he's right on rolling in the windy sit tight. For the next 240 minutes, Woo-hoo! you will hear 220 minutes of rock and roll with me at L. Well, after four very lucrative years in rock and roll radio, on November 5th, 1978, Jim Chanel accepted Jesus as personal savior, and Captain Whammo and rock and roll radio became history. Jim never looked back, dedicating the rest of his life to Jesus. God used Jim's on-air talent for his purpose in Christian radio, starting in Chicago, then Florida, and worldwide on programs that he would host. Christian Countdown America and Classic Christian Gold. Also heard in Southwest Florida on Kingdom FM. The greatest hits of all time, Classic Christian Gold. I'm Jim Chanel. You know the Bible says it best. Romans 3, verse number 23. All have sinned. You have sinned. I have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. And Romans 5, verse number 8 states, While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You can be forgiven no matter what you've ever said or ever done. Just ask Jesus to come into your heart, into your life, and accept what he did on the cross 2,000 years ago as full payment for your sins. It's the most important decision you'll ever make in your entire lifetime. If you do that, let us know. We'll send you some literature to get you going in your walk with the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus. Jim Chanel was called to share his testimony at over 500 church meetings, retreats, benefits, and banquets, and was featured on Billy Graham's Hour of Decision, D. James Kennedy's Telecast, The 700 Club, Unshackled, Night Sounds, The Chicago Tribune, Chicago Sun-Times, and Moody Radio Network Worldwide. I'm Jim Chanel on Classic Christian Gold. We are not here to water down, whip out, or compromise the truth of God's Word. We do our research on our knees. We call it knee research. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Personally, I'll never forget those times years ago. Jim would visit my office. He would share things going on in his life, and we would ultimately kneel in prayer in front of these two black chairs that were in my office. Jim had a way of remembering details. He might tell you that he went to 7-Eleven, but he would also be sure to tell you that it was the one with the payphones to the left of the door. It was those details, I believe, that made up part of Jim's unique personality. Let's pray for Jim's wife, Arlene, son Jason, daughter Danielle, and other family members, that each of them would sense God's peace that passes all understanding during this time. In part of her social media post, Arlene Chanel wrote, I am so proud to have been his wife and had his name. He is the reason I came to know Jesus. May Jim's life be an encouragement to each of us to passionately and unashamedly share Jesus to a world in need, no matter what the circumstances may be. Romans 8.31 is a verse Jim often referenced in his own words at the end of many of his programs. I believe no one can passionately communicate this like Jim did. But here's what he would say. If God is for us, who can possibly be against us? Jim Chanel will be missed by many. But we all take comfort to know that Jim is now spending eternity with his Lord and Savior, Jesus. 
And you just know that Adam and Eve look back with great regret. Let you and I never do the same. Let's make every moment count for Jesus 